Hi, I'm Mike Graham, and this is Lighting Insights. Today, we're going to be talking about the tools that you're going to use to network your lighting system. So everybody's pretty familiar with using DMX cable to network your lights. Basically, you go console, cable, opto splitter, fixtures. It's pretty straightforward. However, over the past few years, I'm sure you've noticed that there's only one cable coming out of the back of the console. And how does that all go together? Let's take a look and see how that goes. So let's start out getting from your console to your first device. You're gonna be using a network cable, which is like this guy here. This is an EtherCon cable. It uses a Cat5 cable with a Cat5 connector inside of the barrel, and it goes from your lighting console to your first device. Your first device typically is gonna be a switch. Now, network switches are pretty important in lighting systems today. What this does is helps you distribute TCPA protocol from your lighting console into your rig. TCPIP protocols are things like ARTNET, SACN, uh, MANET, ETCNET, any of these net protocols that you use from your lighting console into your rig go through this switch. So you want to make sure you pick a good switch. Uh, using an off-the-shelf router from a big box store or Amazon, probably not going to cut it for you. You want to make sure you have a net switch that's got really good throughput on it to make sure that all the information that you are sending from your console actually gets to your rig. Uh, this happens to be one that we do here at Chauvet. There are a few others on the market, but this is a pretty good one. So flipping to the back of this guy, you see you have a series of input-output connections. With TCP protocol, input and output is pretty much the same thing because the information is flowing backwards and forwards. So you're going to go in from your console into one of these and maybe in from a media server into another and then out to all of your various outputs through the rest of your ports. The next device you're going to get to is your network node. What this does is it takes your TCP input into this box and you can spit out DMX or you can actually go through this box with more TCP IP protocol to your next device. On the back here you notice that there is a TCP IP input here and then you have a series of DMX outputs here. Depending on your network node will actually determine the functionality. Uh, with this particular one you can configure each one of these outputs to any DMX universe you want them to be. Going from your network node, you can do one of three things. Either you can go to a fixture, go to another network node, or go to an opto splitter. What the opto splitter does is takes your DMX line into this device, and then for this one, it splits it into four separate lines, allowing you to control fixtures in different ways and break them up a little bit. As we know, for a DMX line, you're only allowed to run 32 fixtures per line. What this allows you to do is run 32, 32, 32, 32, so that you can run more fixtures. So finally, we're at our fixture. For our purposes today, we're looking at the MK2 wash. The reason I chose this fixture is because you can do a couple different things with this. I can come in through uh, TCPA protocols through our network inputs. I can go in here and out here. Or I can use DMX and come in here and come back out here. What's very cool about this particular fixture is that if I want to, I can use this as a hub similar to how I'd use the NetX. I can actually go network in here and DMX out here, allowing us to run fixtures along, along the way. Keeping in mind with this fixture, that if you are using the DMX out, whatever universe you are going in through this, you're coming out here. This has been a brief overview on how to network your rig. For more information on any one of these products or anything else that Shovey Professional has to offer, check us out on the web at ShowyProfessional.com. Thanks for watching.